Let's talk over paneling. This is my new Bouge RV 180 9 bus bar or 9 BB panel. This is a Renogy 100 watt panel. Right now, I have this Renogy hooked into a, a not this oops, because this oops don't charge from solar. But I would have it hooked into an oops right here, charging at maybe about eight watts, right? I'm tempted to put this panel on it, right? Because it's an overcast day. I would get like double the output, probably about 14 to 20 watts. But here's my issue with over paneling. One, I don't like the idea that when the sun comes out, this panel is then basically overkill. A lot of people talk about over paneling. I get it, but I'm not a fan. I would much rather have a power station over here that could take in up to 200 watts. Then on an overcast day, you're still going to get 14 watts into that power station. Let's just imagine the EB70 is right there or the EcoFlow River base model is right there. It's capable of 200 watts. This panel would match up well with it. On an overcast day, you get the same kind of output, but on a Habib Marwan day, <laughs> I'm gonna explain that one day for you guys that don't get it. It would be mode out here. So I like that more than over paneling a less capable power station. I want to put a proper panel on, basically buy a bigger power station that could take in all the power from the panel, right? Instead of taking a bigger panel, putting it on a less than capable power station. That's it. I, You know, what are y'all thoughts? It is I power.